What is that spider even doing on the robot? Excuse me, um, I was just curious, why are you tickling his back? What's going on guys? It's Pat and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today it's gonna be a mod showcase on the Ore Spawn mod once again. That's right guys, it's been updated. It's been like three days since the last update. Seriously, they're crazy. You probably opened my videos wondering like 50% of the time, is this gonna be an Ore Spawn update? Today the answer is yes. It's really another update, it's crazy. Some really cool stuff too, like an amazing battle axe, some brand new mobs in one of the robots is freaking amazing i love it it's really cool but guys before we actually jump into that i did want to mention something pretty important if you didn't know minecraft has actually been purchased by microsoft it really happened they were talking about it for like two weeks and they finally bought it so they own mojang which is kind of crazy and the only reason i want to mention this is because i have a feeling a lot of youtubers are and they might make some people nervous about it Honestly, I'm pretty sure everything's going to be just fine. If anything, they have like a ton of resources, you know. They own Xbox and stuff. They have a lot of resources. Very rich company. I'm assuming they might be able to make like Minecraft run better. Because it is quite laggy for people with worse computers and stuff like that. And at some point, I'm hoping that mods are easier for everyone to download. It's really not too bad, but some people really do have problems with it. It might end out a good thing, maybe a bad thing. But at the moment, it's not really going to affect anything at all. So I figured I'd just toss it out there. Sorry about that, guys. I just wanted to mention it because it's really big news in Minecraft. And I didn't want to make a video about it because I thought it'd be a boring video. So first up, we are checking out the Queen Battle Axe. So this thing is awesome. 666 attack damage. I love that. That is sick. So it's got Sharpness 5, Smite 5, Bane of Arthropods 5, Knockback 3, Looting 3, Unbreaking 3. I'm like running out of voice here. And Fire Aspect 2. So to make this beast... It's going to be the queen scale, so when you kill the queen, you get a bunch of these. You could make, like, ten of these if you wanted to, because, you know, she drops a lot of scales, guys. And some iron ingots right here. So this is, like, part of the queen set now. It's really good. And look at it. Come on. Come on. How can you not love that? That's a really sick-looking weapon. So it's not quite as strong as the Royal Guardian Sword, guys. Let's take a look at the difference here. But there is one very big difference. It's enchanted. So, the Royal Guardian Sword just says I'm breaking five. This is all kinds of cool stuff, like looting. So, you're going to get, like, extra loot. And, yeah, it's really, really good. Second best weapon in the mod. So, I think what we're going to do is test it on some mobs. Let's just own some stuff in creative. Just to show the strength here. So, Allosaurus. Yeah, I, I didn't think you were going to last for very long. Let's get some water dragons. I want a bunch of stuff out here. We can just murder them all. So, yeah, it's very strong, guys. If you can't tell, this thing is cool, too. And if you have battle gear installed, I think with the Royal Guardian Sword, it would look epic. So, I'm going to get... I want the Caterkiller. I got this for a reason. It's got a lot of health. Can we take it out in one hit? Stop eating the tree. Seriously, I'm trying... To... You... Do you have to eat everything? You're fat. All right, so quite a bit of damage. Almost 200. It has really high defense, so it's pretty amazing just in general how strong this weapon is. Plus, I love the model. I love the giant weapons in Aura Spawn. So once again, guys, this weapon is awesome. It kills everything. It's a beast. I love it. And next up, guys, we're checking out some new mobs. And one of these, I love it so much. Jeffrey is freaking awesome. Best robot I've ever seen in my life. So what I'm going to do is just take him out, have him kill a mob or two, and then we'll fight him like, you know, ourselves. Give myself the ultimate set. I think it's going to be strong enough. We'll see. So he's got a really cool fighting style. My favorite robot in the mod now. So Jeffrey is amazing. He's really tall. Look at this dude. 550 health. He explodes stuff. And he punches. Come on. How could you not love that? I love the punching style. And you guys know what this means. More mob battles. He attacks everything. So that should be fun. Let's get an Allosaurus. Go for it. Punch him. Oh, I was hoping for a punch. He's going with like the explosive attacks right now. Punched it in the face and it's down. So as you can see, he only took 5 damage. He's kind of in the water. So I think I'm going to get a new dude here. But he is very, very powerful. And I just love the fighting style. So definitely expect a battle, guys. There should be some really cool ones with this. I'm so excited about it. Let's go, Water Dragon. Alright, so some butterflies definitely died from that. So the Water Dragon is at 118. We're like seeing like a mini battle right now. But it's just so fun to see how strong these new mobs are. He's knocking him back like crazy too. Oh, I love the explosions. Seriously, it's going to be quite the struggle when you actually fight this mob. Alright, it's dead. So what I want to do is kill it and show you what it drops. It's mostly like redstone stuff. I really don't want it to fall in the water. Let's get some room over here and we will kill one. Honestly, guys, he's going to go down really quick with this weapon. 281 damage. 
so let's see right here it looks like mostly redstone stuff keep in mind guys development version probably going to drop other stuff in future updates here but at the moment it's pretty much like killing anything in the robot dimension which is probably where he's going to be spawning i would guess at night time so we got like dispensers we got pistons robot laser charges repeaters all kinds of redstone stuff so if you love building with redstone kill one of those giant punching robots so now guys we are in survival to test this dude out so let's try it come on do you, do you have to throw me so far i'm gonna try a normal battle axe so i can actually not kill him in one hit i don't know if i should oh that does not hurt him that does not hurt him you know what guys we're taking out the queen battle axe it's in the update we need this so jeffrey you're going down don't punch me when he punches you it like shoots you across the world come on bro you're being unfair here a little bit so definitely the ultimate armor is good enough to fight him you need a really strong weapon though he's got a lot of health and his defense is very high i'm struggling come on bro come on you're knocking me in the hole this this is painful you have to relax for one second this is ridiculous isn't it you might need the ultimate bow possibly okay if you're gonna get me down to bedrock then just do it because you're hurting my feelings right now the epic sneak attack is about to happen you can't stop me i'm coming for you you're gonna die here we go okay jeffrey is dead thank god who's attacking me you know what don't mess with this battle axe it's bigger than your mom okay all right so he's dead we killed him really hard to kill i'm recommending a ranged weapon for that one because he knocks you back so much even with a weapon like this it's still kind of hard to kill him because he constantly like throws you across the world in the last update i showed you the giant spider the thing is freaking awesome but there's actually another one this is the red ant robot kit right here no crafting recipe i imagine you're gonna get it in a dungeon or something like that so we're gonna grab it out and this one it fights by itself i'll show you guys in a second so another cool battle opportunity so this is the red ant it's really big you thought ants are like evil before this dude is crazy and once again you can't ride on him guys you can so if you right click like this I am actually on this beast, and I can control him, too. It's pretty sick. The sound effects are kind of loud, though. And to actually travel around with this thing, it's going to be W, A, S, and D. And anything you run into is kind of just dead. Like, look at this. I step on things. I bite things. They're all going to die. It works just like the other one, except it's not as powerful. And climbing up stuff pretty easy. Look at that. No problem at all. It could climb up pretty much any structure. Should we try this one? Let's go for it. I want to end out on top of that tree. I don't know if it's going to work. I'm going for it. You could do it. I believe in you. Climb. You're a spider. You've got this. Oh, so close. Turn a little bit. Oh, I really thought we were going to get up that. But you can definitely tell it's not that hard to actually climb up structures. Let's try to get it from the other side here. Should be fine. Like a couple blocks, not a big deal. Giant cliff, maybe more of a struggle as you guys saw over there. So definitely pretty cool. I mean, this thing kills everything. And if I'm not on it, it should fight mobs. So we're going to try this. Let's get out an Allosaurus. Go for it. So he's attacking. This should fight back. This is probably a bad spot considering we're like on a mountain right now. It might be like a little off balance here. That was definitely not a good spot for a battle. But I did notice one thing. It seems like right now the one you spawn with the robot kit does not fight mobs. But if you spawn it with a spawn egg, it actually goes after everything. Which is kind of interesting. So it should work for battles like either way. So I'm not sure about a survival world though. So what we're going to try right here is an Allosaurus against him. And you can see it's biting it like crazy and actually like coming closer cool like knockback effect too so the allosaurus is probably gonna die and we're gonna have another epic battle we could do because these spiders are really fun for fights where is it heading right now i feel bad for the allosaurus so the dude is down definitely another cool mob think it's heading towards the water dragon right now yeah it's definitely a killing machine and could actually protect your base assuming it's gonna work like this in survival and guys there is one last thing to show with the red ant robot it's pretty simple you can actually pick it up and like put it in your inventory so this thing you might not want it out at night it will scare your neighbors so what you do is you take a wrench you punch it and then there it is you can actually like pick it up and carry it around surprisingly it fits in this kit which is awesome i like it works just like the other robot so what you need to do is make a wrench to craft it guys four iron ingots so fairly cheap and really cool for carrying this thing around there's also one other cool thing you could do with like the giant spider robot now previously it couldn't fight unless you were riding it but that has actually changed so this dude right here is awesome 1500 health used him in a battle and he killed like everything so normally he can't fight something if something goes after him he kind of just you know stands there it's not a good thing so there's this brand new mob called the spider driver i'm going to spawn one like right over here 
I'm not sure how this is going to work in survival yet. They probably haven't exactly implemented it. But this dude can actually drive it. So he's going to, like, you know, ride on it and control it. So what I can do right now is spawn it next to it. And it picks it up. And now it's in control. So look at this. There's, like, a little spider controlling this. So if there's any mobs around, it's going to attack. It's going to walk around and stuff like that. So apparently that spider is a freaking genius. So I'm going to put down a T-Rex here. And look at that. 44 damage. It's owning it. So now for battles, this could work a lot better than it did previously when I had to control it. So pretty simple. I'm not sure how this is going to work. Maybe there'll be some cool way to actually spawn the spider driver and use this as like someone to protect your base. Anyways, guys, that's about all there is to show with this update. One amazing weapon, some really cool robots too, and of course another one you could ride around on. So it's definitely a lot of fun. If you guys want to check this one out, the download as always is in the description. And if you enjoyed the review and the commentary, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you next time for another Minecraft video.